We assemble to know and to do together. We assemble to make things happen. We want to make things happen, to make new worlds. But we exist in a larger framework that is either at odds with our values or oblivious to our values. Sometimes the larger institution is simply doing something else. Here we have a general assembly inside Chase Bank to discuss what to do about Chase Bank. By having the assembly inside the bank, we make it explicit that we exist on their terms. But at some point, you can see the police enter into our terms. They become part of our meeting. The police are participants in our assembly inside the bank. This can occur because an assembly has a membrane, and the membrane is permeable. Song does this too, but the membrane is more permeable. People enter into the song, the melody, the beat, the repetition, even sometimes just the emotion of a song. People accidentally join song, cross the membrane, and for a moment they are in a new space where there is transformational potential. We, the Church of Stop Shopping, the Stop Shopping Choir, we are organized by song. Singing organizes us. Singing the song does most of the work. Breathing, listening, projecting, sounding, thinking, agreeing, committing, deciding, trusting, learning, teaching, changing, being changed. These are just some of the things that happen to us when we sing even a simple song together. Breathing, listening, projecting, sounding, thinking, agreeing, deciding teaching, changing, being changed. How long would it take to instruct or teach a group of people so they would do all these things at the same time, when even the simplest song achieves them all instantaneously? When we sing together, we are making decisions, making choices, practicing consensus, practicing assembly. Singing is a practice towards assembly. We are guided through the process by the structures of song the conventions of song. Already we have seen many examples of this in many kinds of places, using the least structured songs stripped down to bare elements, shared musical vocabulary, rhythm, melody, tone, tempo, repetition, call and response. And another thing, song is a place of safety for our emotions. We are freed of so much pain. We can let go of disappointments and expectations. We can also try on other pains, trauma, personalities. In song, in the singing of the song, we can be liberated from our identity and we can simultaneously discover our identity. 
A song, singing, can be a hideout for our individuated selves. It can also be a place to show our deepest, most individuated selves. It is often both a shelter and a stage. We are both protected and revealed by the song. The oscillation between these two states creates an elastic space where we can grow and change, discover and become. This heightened presence is the opposite of alienation. It is disalienation. The heightened presence we are allowed by the shape and time of song is an unusual space, somewhere to be that is both not here and now and a super here and now. In the Church of Stop Shopping, we use singing as an antidote to capitalism. We use it as a meeting place, as assembly. We know it is a very therapeutic space, a spiritual space, but is it a radical space? Is it a political space? The transformation of a group is the basis of political change. Song can be a radical space because there exists in song the possibility of collective transformation. The more radical we are, the less the song matters and the more the singing matters. Song is invitational and generous. Songs welcome singers. People accidentally join song and are briefly outside themselves. And maybe in that moment they find themselves opposing the dominant culture, the state. It might feel experimental to them, like a door opening. That might lead them to new understandings, new agreements. What does the group want? How can the group make decisions? Can the group make a plan? Remarkable things happen when we talk deeply with the right balance of structure and non-structure. That's true for singing. Remarkable things happen when we sing deeply too, even though singing takes us down a very different road, one where productivity, efficiency, assignment, the work of meeting and doing might not be the primary drivers. Above all, what we can learn from a song is how to exist in time as a group. We learn that we can exist in time as a group. We learn that we can exist in a time and a place as a group, even in extremely repressive and controlled environments. Song can shelter, and it often disarms and slows police and security. Assembly itself often has a way of showing us the questions, the possibility of the questions. For example, what do we want? What do we want? Singing both asks this question and answers this question. Singing together, we learn what it feels like to have what we want as a group. Maybe we don't know exactly what we want. Maybe the core questions are much more complicated than what do we want? What do we need? But one outcome of singing is that we discover what agreement and consensus feel like as a group. And perhaps we are more ready to confront the complexity of other, more difficult questions. What is fair? What is just? Who gets to be safe?
Mass movements are made of small groups, each one animated by the moment. Or the mass movement lights up, and these small groups coalesce and emerge from its momentum. It's usually both. Mass movements create and destroy groups, but we know that the emergence of movement depends on the readiness of many small practiced groups. Movements are one part of what we hope to create with assembly, with song. Resilient and cohesive movements, resilient and cohesive revolutions will be built on the resilience and cohesion of networks who practice resilience and cohesion. Singing is cohesion. It's an old technology and we have evolved with it, alongside it. Singing is one of the ways we learn to be together. This kind of singing, just one step from the chanting we expect in movement, is rooted in belief, at the very least belief in itself, in its form. Radical song is ritual, not religious, is sacred, not secular, is meaning, not marketing. Song is a shared language, a system that we agree to believe in temporarily, an almost perfect exercise in imaginary possibility. I am the exit extinction.